Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all, yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the readings. <laughs> Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading for the month of June 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into this, shall we? All right. Spirit, <laughs> hi Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <coughs> Excuse me. Please bring forward the best messages for Virgo for the month of June. 2018. Thank you so much. So, already I'm picking up on something. Um, I often see colors when I'm connecting with people because I am a channel. I do channel energies. Um, I am also an intuitive reader. So while I do um, understand the general meanings of the cards, like the basic meanings of the cards, I often 
most of the time I allow, allow my intuition to tell the story. And so while I was I was praying for this reading for us Virgos, because um, my rising sign is Virgo, I coughed like that. And I immediately started to see blue energy. So there is a need to clear out the throat chakra. Some of us or somebody is needing to speak their truth <laughs> in a serious way. We've got the six of swords in reverse underneath the deck, overall energy, We're starting there. We've got justice. We've got the seven of cups in reverse and we've got the six of cups in reverse. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, the six of swords in reverse is some, uh, huh. someone is not moving forward. But what I'm getting here is someone is not going in the direction that they've always been. Okay, we have the release of illusion with the seven of cups in reverse. Um, justice is coming into a situation. I really feel like there's a stop. There is a halt to something. And it's, feel, it's kind of feeling like a hard stop. Like justice came in and like slammed on the brakes. And we've got the six of cups in reverse. That could talk about a soulmate. But what I'm really picking up here is there is the release. There is a release of childhood wounds going on here. And that's also why we have justice. Mm -hmm. All right, Virgo, let's get into the storyline here. Starting up, we have the six of pentacles in reverse. There are a lot of sixes here. Um, love. Um, balance within the home and family life. I really feel like Virgos right now are going through a period where they're reassessing their love life and their family life. You could also be reassessing your, your material, your, your business ventures, your material life with the six of pentacles in reverse and seeing the imbalance between give and take. And this, and this, and this is um, influenced by this justice energy that's here, the balancing of the scales. Yeah. Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Wands. So there is a brand new um, reality coming into play for Virgo right now. Um, there is a torch. There's a torch that has been lit here. And it's all through this justice that is illuminate this justice energy that's illuminating a lot of things. I really feel like somebody is coming to terms with the imbalance in give and take could be with a soulmate, but it could also be um, with people around you. And now you are stepping into a new passionate way of being a new passionate venture. You're, you're almost stepping into a new spiritual awareness. This could also be you becoming aware Virgo of how you, um, attract how you, uh, you, you becoming aware of the law of of attraction and how you attract that which you are a vibrational match with. And that's why you would be showing up here as the page of wands. Wands does symbolize passion, <clears throat> but it also symbolizes spirituality. So you could be stepping into a new spiritual awareness that is allowing you to take advantage of uh, law of attraction and all that stuff so that you can attract something that's much better, much more balanced for you. Moving forward, we have the star in reverse. I feel like there's a lack of hope. <clears throat> you may have lost something recently, Virgo, that you feel like you're never going to get back with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Virgo, this is you showing up because we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is an earth sign. You could be dealing with another earth sign. You could also be dealing with a, a, a Libra. You could also be dealing with um, a fire sign. Okay, but I really do get the feeling here that there's, there's a feeling of loss. Virgo. Um, like, yeah, like I said before, I, and I wanted to say it again, like you lost something that you're never going to get back. And that could be because you were just moving a little bit too slow. And I'm also feeling like you were kind of refusing to move. Like you were being so logical um, and like super uber grounded that you kind of shot yourself in the foot a little bit. Okay. But I'm also picking up with the star in reverse and the Knight of pentacles is that, you know, you don't lose hope, don't lose faith, okay? Because the star talks about wish fulfillment. Um, here, let me hold this up so you can see it. The star talks about wish fulfillment. Um, it also talks about healing. So in the reverse here, it could also be that you are in the process of healing. Like this justice situation is helping you heal or is um, 
Insp is is influencing a period of healing. So the star being in reverse isn't necessarily a bad thing. It could just be talking about you are in the process of healing, but you're still moving kind of slow. And actually, that's kind of encouraged right now. Okay, so don't let don't let the fact that you might have been moving too slow in the past get you down. Um, and now you just want to like rush through things because you don't want to miss out again. But no, the advice here is to uh, just keep moving slowly because you're healing. Okay, now this could be you, Virgo. This could be someone else around you. Okay, keep that in mind. This is a general reading. Moving forward, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Procrastination. There has been a lot of procrastination in the past. Either you, Virgo, or someone else around you was like super procrastinatory. Is that a word? With the Queen of Cups. So I'm almost, I'm almost getting an energy of someone felt like they didn't have to move all that quickly because whoever is symbolized by the Queen of Cups here they thought they were always just going to be around. And now they see that's not the case. Now someone is understanding that they have to start taking some action. Or they will, in fact, lose this wish fulfillment. If not forever, for an extended period of time. And who knows what will happen then, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Moving forward. Oh, actually, wait, there's more I want to say about this. Um... I'm feeling like this, this with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups. Somebody is coming out of out of a period of holding on to their emotions. Someone is coming out of a period of procrastinating around getting in touch with their emotions as well. Like they're finally starting to look at the emotional side of things. That's great. Moving forward. Oh, wow. We've got the Four of Wands. Uh, balance. Well... Balance, um, but a foundation, strong, beneficial, better foundation with the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so look, someone is releasing an energy of um, being indecisive, not responding, um, denial even, not accepting this cup that is being offered to them. We've got two fours here. That's really cool. The four of wands and the four of cups, but the four of cups is reversed. But in relation to the four of, of wands, because the four of wands is upright, this feeling, this period of unrequited love is coming to an end. And greater foundations are being put into place. Okay, we've got the Three of Cups in reverse, and I'm picking up third-party energies here, and it's not necessarily like somebody was cheating. I'm picking up external influences in the form of friendships, okay? This, is, this energy is being released with Temperance in reverse. Okay, We're, it's entirely possible that we could be talking about Twin Flames. Um, the Temperance card here is a Twin Flame card. You see how uh, this is about balance of um of two opposing elements see she has fire and water this angel has fire and water that she's combining in this cauldron you can call it um it also talks about internal balance it talks about patience as well um and this was reversed so what i'm picking up oh and but then also uh the four of wands here is a union card for twin flames if you look here it has the 11 11 on it and the four wands there um, so we could talk, we could possibly be talking about Twin Flames. Um, but otherwise, <clears throat> when it comes to this situation, these outside influences, this third party, these friendships or whatnot, were causing an imbalance within you, Virgo, or someone else that is connected to this situation, and was also causing an imbalance within the relationship. But I do feel a release of this is happening especially because we have justice here. Okay, moving forward. Oof, we've got the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with another fire sign, a Leo, uh, Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Um, this is also a depiction of the Divine Masculine here with the Three of Pentacles. So um, this person here that is symbolized by the Emperor who is taking on this masculine energy could be a, your Divine Masculine. Um, it could be you as a divine masculine. You are really putting the pieces back together. Um, I see that you are checking your foundation now. You're kind of like on a hunt 
for imperfections or instabilities within your foundation and you're working on fixing them. You could also be working on, with others to fix these things. You could be working with others to reach out, to, to figure out how to you know handle the situation. And I'm seeing that the Three of Cups in reverse were people around either you, Virgo, or someone else around you, Virgo, people around this, people around that were very toxic and very not just not beneficial at all. But now you've moved into a state where you you your vibration is different. And so now you are an, an, a vibrational match to people who are actually, actually much more constructive in your life. Yes? Rather than destructive. I'm really picking up a heavy party atmosphere, a party scene coming with this Three of Cups in reverse. But now the Three of Pentacles is definitely speaking to more beneficial people in your life, okay? Moving forward, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, karmic cycles coming to an end, the release of negative karmic cycles with, ooh, uh, the Two of Cups, but it's also in reverse. Um, give me a second. Let me just make sure I'm channeling this correctly. Okay, what I'm getting with the wheel and the two of cups both in reverse, um, there were karmic cycles here. There were people in your life, Virgo, or someone else connected with you, Virgo, um, that it may have felt like they were soulmates or at one point these people were soulmates. Now this could, this could, um, this could be talking about this three of cups in reverse. Now, ultimately, these people were still soulmates anyway, but it's just like not the type of situation that you that they thought. Like if the, if someone was in a relationship with someone, um, and they were like under the understanding that this person was a soulmate, blah blah blah, they were probably going to spend a long time, if not their lives, together. Well, no, no, that was actually more of a karmic situation. That was a situation where you know you guys came together to learn some things, to heal some things, and now that situation is ending. Okay. And um, I'm also picking up that these, these, these karmic situations that are ending with the wheel in reverse um, have been blockages to this true soulmate connection here. Now, again, we really could be talking about Twin Flames because the Two of Cups talks about... Oh, and we had the Six of Cups. Yeah. Um, which is underneath the whole deck. I'll get to that in a second. But um, these karmic cycles that are now ending have been a blockage to this soulmate connection, this two of cups connection. But ultimately it's ending. Things are changing. Okay. Um, now the wheel in reverse is also talking about the process of bringing these true soulmates together. And temperance is, <laughs> is jumping out saying, okay, guys have patience cause it's happening. Okay. All right, cool. Moving forward. We have, the Nine of Cups. Okay, so this is another depiction of wish fulfillment. You had the star here, and now you have the Nine of Cups. So wishes are being fulfilled. And don't worry about moving too slow, okay? Just follow your intuition, follow the guidance, and allow the healing to happen, all right? The Nine of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Cups, all right? So somebody's got to walk away from some things. Somebody might have to walk away from you, Virgo. Um because you know what's going on in your life or what's going on in their life does not resonate does not match but ultimately this is a good thing because what i'm seeing with the nine of cups and the eight of cups in walking away this is facilitating wish fulfillment all right and then we have the six of cups here in reverse the six of cups is is another soulmate card but is in this situation, it's re I really feel like it's talking about the release and the healing of childhood wounds. It's also coming. It's also coming across as the uh, process of bringing soulmates together. Okay, so let's get some um, action guidance from the unicorn oracle or the oracle of unicorns. Excuse me. For Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okie dokie. Best messages, please. Here we go. Miracles. One more. <gasps> Abundance. Oh my God, and it's a rainbow. <laughs> 
Rainbows have been a real sign for me. Real, wow. Wow. Okay, miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Don't worry about how. Don't even worry about when. Just surrender. And like I said before, allow the healing to happen with the star, okay? And then also we have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. And I just realized that in the past, <laughs> I asked Spirit for a sign and um, they and they provided that to me and I said it was it could be in the sign of uh, uh, it could be in the form of a rainbow and it happened. <laughs> I asked for it one morning and a few hours later it happened. Um, and now it's happening again. And I didn't even really ask this time. Like that one sign was enough for me to be like, yep, okay. But now it's happening again. And it's coming out in this reading. Of all readings, it's coming out in this reading. Whoa. Okay, you guys really have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Well, some of you do, but woo. Okay. Let's get into some spiritual guidance here from the Crystal Mandala deck. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Best message, please. One card spirit for the month of June. 20. Ooh, here it is. Goodwill, Goddess Gaia, and Ocean Jasper. Take a look at that. Isn't that a beautiful card? Sorry, I'm shaky. There's a lot of energy running through me. Okay, let's get into the book for that. Goodwill, card number 45, which boils down to a nine, which is endings, so that's good. There's that 44 again. I've been seeing 44 everywhere, guys. Oof. Some of you know what that is meaning. Anyway. Whoa. 45. 45, sorry. <laughs> Turned to the wrong one. Oh gosh, give me a second. Here we go. Goodwill. We bring you the empowerment of goodwill. There is a type of spiritual power you can create. I'm sorry, you can co-create, which benefits and protects you whilst mutually empowering others to take their journey and experience divine success. This spiritual power, known as goodwill, is generated by how you feel inside and the attitude you cultivate towards others. When you know you have value, it's easy to recognize the value in another. When you feel encouraged by the universe, it is easy to encourage others. As you put out support, encouragement, and goodwill for the success of all beings, this energy is amplified and returned to you. And so this is definitely resonating with the message that I pulled forward with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Um, you, Virgo, or someone else around you is starting to under, is starting to a step into a new spiritual awareness. So they're starting to be able to understand the laws of attraction and energetic laws and, you know, what you put out there comes back to you. So this was confirmation, this card, Goodwill, is confirmation that yes, you are in fact going through a period where, or you've stepped into a brand new spiritual awareness. You may not feel like you have much footing right now because you are at the Page of Wands state, but you are learning these things. You are coming to terms with them. You are beginning to understand them and you're starting to implement them for not only your highest good, but the highest good of others. And as Virgos, we are very giving. We want to provide for people around us, especially those that we love the most. So good on you, Virgo. Yeah. All right, guys, there is your reading. Much love. I love you all so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for July. Yeah. Take care. Bye.